and welcome back to my channel. So today I have my lovely assistant here. <laughs> I figured we would do a fall themed q and I've asked you over on Instagram a little while ago to send um, us some questions. They could either be for both of us or just for Sydney or just for mommy. Um, so I'm gonna go through all of those questions and are you ready to answer some questions? Yeah. You think so? Uh -huh. Okay, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy um, talking with Sydney and I and getting to know us and listening to this little bug. <laughs> Let's just jump into it. What's your favorite thing to do with mommy? Um, I like to double, I like to double my foggy tipple lean and play in my playroom. With mommy? Yeah. Aw, so she likes to jump on her froggy trampoline and play in the playroom with mommy. I like to do that too. Yeah question for mommy it says what is your favorite thing to do with Sydney at this age okay so what my favorite thing to do with you is to well I have several different favorite things I like to go to the beach with you and I then like to play outside and, and adventure and go run around yeah stay right here while you're talking and go on around and we can say hi to everyone yeah do you like going to the beach with me yeah I like the ease of this age. I like that we can go places. We're not strapped down by like a specific nap time or tantruming and things like that. Like she's so much more mature at this age and it's just so much easier to take her places cause she can kind of fend for herself. And you know, um, we just, we just have a lot of fun. She's like my little best friend and my little sidekick. So we can go to the beach. We, and I like cooking with you too. That's one of my favorite things to do. Okay, so for Sydney, if you could paint your room any color, what color would it be? Um, I don't think that's gray sound beautiful. I want pink. Pink? Yeah. A pink bedroom? No, I want a beef one. I like even more one. Oh, like more beautiful than pink? What would um, you want your bedroom to be? Oh, 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 I know. I want it to be white. White? A pink bedroom. I, I think you like the the pink. Sydney, who is your favorite Disney princess? Elsa. Elsa. Yeah, Elsa. Elsa's your favorite, huh? And that's your favorite. I do like Elsa, yeah. yeah. How did you get Sydney to learn so well without being in school? I tried to take some time out of my day to teach her and I've always taught her since she was a little tiny baby. I've always like spoken words to her full sentences and like even when she was just a newborn, I would say different colors and just articulate everything that we were doing. So um, I just think that I've been teaching her since day one. Not only that, but she's naturally kind of gets it very fast. Do you like learning? Yeah. Yeah. Do you like preschool? Yeah. At home, yeah. I love it, huh? Do you like to learn? And what yeah. is your favorite thing to learn? Yes, yeah, Sydney does want to go at school without you. Oh. I'm going to school with you. It'll be a while till we have to do that anyway, honey. I'm going to school with you. So I just think she just naturally likes to learn and I do take that special time to kind of teach her things. And I used to spend a whole lot more time one-on-one -on -one teaching her, but now that I'm so busy with work, I kind of had to schedule it in. So we do three days a week with preschool at home. Um, and I just dedicate time to, to teaching her. We read a lot of books, a ton of books, and um, that's how she learns a lot are from books and reading and asking questions. And it just, she just absorbs everything. It's insane. What was your favorite thing about going to Disney? Um, what did you like most about when we went to a Disney? The Disney castle. The Disney the castle. Yeah, the castle. Oh, the castle was so beautiful, wasn't it? Yeah. I loved going to Disney. It was like being a kid and then seeing the joy on Sydney's face and the fact that she still talks about our Disney trip. She remembers things about her Disney trip that I don't remember. She'll say something and I'm like, oh yeah, you saw that here or you did this. Um, did you like the rides? Yeah. And what about the food? Yeah. Probably don't remember the food, but the rides were so fun. Um, I absolutely 100% want to go Dumbo. back. To like, <laughs> I, and I go to Dumbo. Yeah, we went on the Dumbo ride. Yeah, we went on the Frozen ride. On the Frozen ride? Yeah. That was pretty special, huh? 
I loved it. And I loved the magic of it too, because um, I guess it was magic, obviously because it's Disney, but it was also Christmas time decorated for Christmas and all of that. And so it was just, the whole experience was just so magical. Like there's no way to describe it unless you've been, you don't really, I don't know if you'll even get it. It's just so magical. Um, and everyone's so happy and like uplifting there. What is your favorite food that I make for you? Um, hot dogs. Hot dogs? Yeah. Yeah? Uh -huh. Okay. Now you can go get it. This question is for mommy. Um, what Nespresso pod do you use? So I get asked this question all the time. So I have the Nespresso. I'll try to link my Nespresso machine down below. Um, it makes coffee and espresso. You're tired? Okay, you can lay down right here. Um, so I've tried several. I've tried some flavored ones and I've tried different like coffee ones. My favorite by far is Stormio and it's just my favorite because I feel like it's the smoothest. It doesn't have any bitterness to me. Um, it is a dark coffee, which I like. I definitely prefer a strong dark coffee, but I don't like bitterness or like any sweetness to it. Okay. <laughs> She's tired apparently. Um, so yeah, Stormio is my go-to. I've tried all kinds of different ones. I've tried the Mexican, um, Colombia, hazelnut, vanilla, caramel. I've tried so many and I just keep going back to Stormio. It's just my favorite, but I like bold coffee. Um, just keep that in mind. Um, Sydney, what's your favorite snack? Um, granola. Granola bar? Yeah. That's a good choice, yeah. What do you want for Christmas? Beautiful sparkly hat. There you have it. Okay. What do you like? What do you like best about the fall? Um, the weather right now. What do you like best about it? Um, leaves and acorns. Leaves and acorns. <laughs> it's so beautiful, isn't it? And then you get to see the pumpkins and go apple picking. That's fun. Does Sydney understand the concept of filming and YouTube? I don't think so at all. I mean, this is all she's ever known. I've done YouTube since before she was born. And so she's kind of always had the camera. I don't think she, she has. To be a firefighter. You want to be a firefighter when you grow up? Yeah. Aww. <laughs> um, yeah, so I just don't think she really understands the concept of it at all. I think she knows that I talk to a camera and I edit on my computer and then I like tell her or we'll watch videos back sometimes, but I don't, I mean, I don't think she has a clue about YouTube or, or that people actually like see her online at all. Um, I know we see her when we watch it back, but I don't think she has a clue that other people watch. Like she doesn't get that part. Um, how often do you see friends? Sydney actually sees her friend um, pretty often. Um, we live next door to a friend, so we are actually, she's very blessed that she gets to have some outside time with her friend here and there whenever they're outside at the same time as us. So she definitely sees friends, I would say like four days a week. So this question's for Sydney. What do you want to be for Halloween? What do you want to dress up as for Halloween? Um, a baby elephant. A baby elephant? Uh-huh. What do you want mommy to dress up as for Halloween? A ghost. A ghost. No, a baby elephant, that's like me. We're both going to be a baby elephant? Uh -huh. Aw, how cute. You know you were a baby elephant for your very first costume ever? What is your favorite food? Um, pink. Um, the, um, cake. Cake? Yeah. <laughs> cake is so good. It was yummy. Right now, I'm going to say my favorite fall food. Okay, so my favorite fall dessert are pumpkin chocolate chip cookies. Mm. And my favorite fall food, like meal, is chicken pot pie. And oatmeal too. Oatmeal too. Oh yeah, and bananas. Ooh, yum. Oh, and watermelon. Ooh, watermelon. Oh yeah, apple too. Oh, grapes. Or grapes. Does Sydney ever have days when she doesn't feel like doing homeschool? No, I wouldn't say days. Um, I would say that she definitely has limits and then tells me when she's done. Like if we're on our last activities, she says, um, is, can I be done preschool now or is preschool done? And it's usually after like a difficult task. If she's kind of having a challenging task to do, um, she's like, 
yeah, I'm done now. I'm done. So, um, but she doesn't have days where she doesn't want to. Do you like doing preschool at home? Yeah. Yeah? Is it fun? Yeah. So, yeah, she really likes doing preschool, but like I said, um, she will tell me when she's had enough. We usually do like 45 minutes or maybe an hour or so, depending on how long crafts or songs take. How do you keep your daughter entertained during this quarantine? It's so hard. Honestly, she's a really good independent player. <laughs> Um, she's a really good independent player and I actually have an entire video that I'm gonna in this Momtober series that kind of shows how I entertain her, how I get how I get things done and kind of entertain her through all of this and being home. Um, as, <laughs> as much time as possible we spend outside just to get energy out while the weather is okay. Um, color and crayons, you know, just setting her up with some activity worksheets and things like that. She definitely has some TV time, like an hour, an hour and a half a day. Um, but yeah, a lot of outside time as much as possible. If the weather's not, you know, co cooperating, then we do a lot of like indoor worksheets. She likes to play pretend. What do you like to do? If you, if mommy's busy, say mommy's cooking or doing the dishes, what do you like to do? What do you like to play with in the house? Um, food. You like to play with your pretend food? And she likes to play dress up with her Elsa dress and play in her kitchen. What else do you like to yeah, do? Yeah, I'm gonna cook some for you. She's gonna go cook me something now, okay. This is a good question. It says, what's your favorite and least favorite toy? I'll ask her that when she comes back. Um, what's a toy you wish you didn't buy? <laughs> Okay, so my least favorite toy ever that I ever bought for her was this one. It's like a jungle animal toy and it doesn't stop. It doesn't stop singing. Well, actually there's two. One of them I didn't buy for her and then this one I did. So it's got the jungle animals ones and it's green. It has like a monkey and a toucan. And you know what toy I'm talking about? Yeah. Oh, do you wanna go get it? Yeah. Okay, go ahead, go get it. See if you can find it. Anyway, the thing doesn't stop talking and singing and it drives me insane and I wish I never bought it for her. Tweet, tweet. I'm a um, that's the only toy. I usually am very particular about the toys that I do buy her and I read reviews and I just kind of like test them out. Um, so I usually don't have that from, and I really haven't bought, I don't buy her toys very often at all. All she has is from family because families, so, they spoil her so much. Are you guys gonna be trick or treating? We are having our own party and trick or treating at home. So we won't be trick or treating like we have in the years past where we, you know, I don't even know if they're gonna be doing that. It's like downtown where they do all the businesses and things um, open and there's just a lot of, like it's a lot of fun, but we're not, we're not gonna be doing that this year. I think where we live in our little community, some of the, um, some of the, my neighbors have said that they'll have something special for her and her little friend too. There's only two kids around here, so, so it's her and her little friend. And they're definitely gonna be dressed up in their costumes and I'm gonna dress up in something, who knows? And the parents will walk them to our neighbor's house. Um, and I think, I don't know, maybe the neighbors will have something like sitting outside on the doorstep or like watch behind the window. Um, so I don't know what we're gonna do. And I think maybe her and her little friend, maybe we'll have like a little outside gathering party. I say party, there's like four of us two of us um, here, but yeah, it's just gonna be a low key, a little bit different. I haven't really decided or made a decision on like exactly how it's gonna go, but she is at an age where she's pleased by little, but I do know she's gonna wanna dress up, that's for sure, um, and walk around in her costume and have like other people see her in her costume. What do you play with the most? Out of all your toys, what do you play with the most? Um, my scooter. Your scooter, yeah. yeah, that's a good one. I think her favorite, Toy, her out, favorite outdoor toy is definitely her scooter. What is your favorite movie? Um, the Great Showman. I was just gonna say that for me. The Greatest Showman, she just finally started watching it. I mean, she doesn't get it, but she we listen to Disney Pandora and all of the songs from The Greatest Showman are, are on there. So I had it playing um, in the background and she knows all the music. So she just likes watching it for the music and theatrical aspects of it. Like storyline, no, she doesn't understand it, but she likes it for the music. It's got good music, doesn't it? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it does. Fall traditions you currently have with Sydney and any future tra traditions. So definitely apple picking is our tradition. I love doing it. We do it every year. Um, I don't know if we're going to go to, we usually would go to a, a pumpkin patch place. They have like all kinds of little activities. I think I filmed it. I don't know. Did we go two years now or maybe just, maybe we've only been one year. Um, I don't know if we're going to go this year or not. I have to see, um, what their hours are and kind of how it's, what it's like. Um, but yeah, definitely apple picking. And then I would say the pumpkin patch and then, um, raking, you know, playing in leaves and carving pumpkins or painting pumpkins, doing something with pumpkins. What do you like about Halloween? Um, all of the dinosaurs. Yeah, you like seeing all the costumes? Yeah, and then I was crying because I wanted to pick the dinosaurs. You know those big blow up, um, blow up costumes? Um, there were so many T-Rexes waddling around last year and Sydney wanted to touch them all. Um, but yeah, so that was, but, that was pretty cool, huh? No, they were like the dinosaurs. Sydney, how much do you love your mommy? Um, even more. Even more? Oh my goodness. I just want to squeeze you. I squeeze you? Guess what? You know how much you love me? Yes, can I have a blanket? Yes, but you know how much you love me? I love you even more. Um, what is something that motivates you? How do you stay um, so positive? I love you. So I definitely have days where I'm not as positive and motivated. Um, it just depends. And for me, it tends to be like that time of the month for me is the worst. And, and I don't mean like cramps wise or anything like that, but mentally, like I am irritable. I am just on edge all the time. So that time of the month for me, you know, I might have like three days in a row where I'm just super irritable and frustrated and I'm not, I don't have as much patience as I typically do. Um, but taking care of myself, doing some self care, getting sleep, getting enough sleep is huge for me. Um, and then making sure that I shut off my work at a specific time at night and then waking up before Sydney and having some self care is how I stay motivated and positive. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely human and I have bad days. That's for sure. Um, the happier that I am with myself and who I, and the more I take care of myself, then the more patience I tend to have and the more positivity I have in my life and you get what you put out into the universe. I've noticed that like it just is so true. So I try to stay as positive as I can so that I have a positive life coming back at me. What is your favorite hot drink? Uh, hot cocoa. Hot cocoa? What is your favorite fall treat? Um, candy. Candy? Yeah, like. What's your favorite Halloween candy? <laughs> Do you even know? Um, chocolate. Chocolate. Drink or snack that gives you all the fall vibes. Okay, so this coffee, even though they made it wrong today, pumpkin cream cold brew from Starbucks with extra foam is like the epitome of fall for me. It's just, I love it. It's just so good. And then snack, yeah, pumpkin chocolate chip cookies is the very first thing that I make when I start getting in the fall spirit. What do you want to paint on your pumpkin? Do you want to paint an animal or design or color or what do you want to paint on it? Um, or carve it? I want to paint a jaguar. A jaguar uh, yeah. on your pumpkin? But you can, but you. You want your pumpkin to look like a jaguar? Yeah. Okay mm -hmm. then. And you can put stickers on it. So we are gonna end that here. I think Sydney's kind of over it. We're ready to cook dinner. I hope you guys enjoyed this little Q and A, like random, just kind of chit chat with Sydney and I. Um, why don't you say goodbye to everyone? We'll put this down and we'll say goodbye. 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 Yes. Goodbye, you guys. We'll see you in tomorrow's video. Mwah. I need someone to save me.